Hi ladies, I am coming to you from my floor because I thought that would be the easiest place where I can just lay out all the compacts that we have and walk you through what a compact looks like, the different sizes, the intentions behind each of them, and I have all of our colors that I can show you in person too. So let's take a look. Our smallest one first is going to be the 3D Compact 4. So it's a size 4. All of our com compacts, I have mine labeled here so I can show you exactly which ones are which, but all of our compacts, when you open them up, they're going to have a mirror on one side, and then on the other side is where you're going to put your tins. So all of our tins come in the mail like this. You just slide the top right on off, and then you go ahead and you place your tin into your compact however you want, okay? That's the beauty of it. But they're magnetic, so now you can just put them right on in and you can decide where you want to put your tins. So for example, for this 3D compact size four, you could fit four large tins in this spot, okay? If you wanted, you can also mix and match between our large size tins and also our half size tins, which most commonly known as our eyeshadows. So you can mix and match and play around with however you want to put your makeup in here. That's the beauty of it. But anytime that you need to replace a tin, you just take your new tin, take the cover off and go ahead and put it right into your compact. When you're done, when it's empty, you just take the old one out and replace it with a new. So that's the great ease about our compacts here. So again, this is a size four. It would fit four large tins on the bottom. Taking a step up would be the 3D Compact size eight. So it's gonna be the exact similar situation and layout as the four. You're gonna have your mirror on one side and fit four large tins on the opposite. However, with the eight, you then get a second layer. So you can put in another four large tins um, or eight eyeshadows, however you want to mix and match, okay? So this next size up was, would be the 3D eight, which either fits eight large tins or 16 eyeshadows or a combination of the two, okay? From there, Let's go up. I will save all the um, different looks for at the end, okay? Next size up is the 12. This is the one that I typically recommend to women to start out with. And I say that because when you're starting off, you're getting your main tints. So your brightening color, your main color, and then your contour, and then adding in that lip and cheek. So you're at least starting with four colors, which is going to get you some compact credits. I wrote this down. So the credits, compact credits, and I will also have um, more detail in a graphic for you as well. But when you hit $55 in qualifying tins, you get a $10 compact credit. When you hit 80, you get a 15. When you hit 110 in qualifying tins, you get $20. So the more tins that you have, the more compact credit that you're gonna get. So when you start with Saint and you're getting those initial tins, I usually tell women start with the 12 because I know you're gonna grow. That's most, most of the time, women will come back and say, I wish I would've started with the bigger compact. So that's my advice to you. I like starting here at the 12. With the 12, you have a bigger mirror and now you can fit six tins on this top layer and six tins on the bottom layer. So that's what makes it the 12. You can also mix and match and get all the way up to 24 eyeshadows in it. Um, so there's definitely room to grow with your four main colors that I suggest. And then if you add in that lip conditioner or bronzer or maybe a couple eyeshadows, this compact here, the size 12 is gonna give you quite a bit of room to grow. Um, and you can utilize those compact credits towards it right away so you're not spending more money down the line. If you're starting big, you can put those items in there and just continually grow um, in the size 12. So that's my biggest recommendation is starting here because you will grow, I promise you that. <laughs> 
After that, we then go up to the size 18. The beautiful thing with the size 18 is it starts to get pretty wide, which is fantastic because now our mirror size is getting even larger. You can then fit nine tins on the top and also nine tins on the bottom. If you are mixing and matching with eyeshadows, you could get, uh, what is that? 36 eyeshadows in total or mix and match between the large tins and half size eyeshadow tins. So again, this is the 18, still two layers, but now we're a little bit longer, so we have a nice bigger mirror as well. Last one that I wanna talk about is the 27. So my saint lovers, um, this is usually where we end up. This is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and I will show you mine so you can see what it looks like, um, get the feel for it, but this is the 27. So it's identical to the 18 from the width and length on it, but this one has three layers. So you're still gonna have that nice large mirror, nine on the top, nine in the middle, nine on the bottom. So there's definitely room here. 27 large tins, or if you're going all eyeshadows, you could go all the way up to 54. I did my math on a little piece of paper because I knew I'd forget, but you can mix and match and play around with them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you mine in a second, but let me just show off some of these colors. So this, these three are kind of um, like our nice summer, summer colors. This is Paris Skies. You can see it's kind of got that rainbowy feel. Paris Skies. This is Malibu. So this one has, it reminds me of like cotton candy vibes. Um, a little bit more ocean-like versus this one where it's got a little bit more of the pink. So Paris Skies, Malibu, and then Key West. So these three are kind of our more summery feel, right? More of those pastel colors. So again, this one is Key West. From there, we also have kind of some neutrals. We have this one here, it's called Midtown. The blacks and whites and grays. This is Midtown. We have a full on silver and it's kind of um, like snake skinny feel. So this is our silver. And then we have Wish. And it's got some of these gold, silver flecks in with the black and the grays, which is really pretty. So this one is Wish. Of course, we have our Onyx, which is a matte black, and you can see the nice Saint logo kind of come in and out of that one. So this is our matte black called Onyx. And then Poolside. Look at that glow. You can like see the reflection of the light even too. Um, it's very like shimmery and shiny and just like glossiness compared to, um, this one here, which is our silver, it's more of that snake skin. This is more of that gloss feel. So it's super pretty, like translucent colors. So this one is poolside. Let me show you quick what my compact looks like. So I have the 27. I love the 27 because I have the nice big mirror up top. But this is how I kind of organize my stash. So on this top layer is where I keep like my essential hack cream makeup. I have my color correctors, my lip conditioner. I have my main colors here. So my brightening, my main and my contour. I have an extra darker contour, which I like to use for my brows. And then I have kind of the dream team right here. This is the bronzer, Bella bronzer, and I love pairing my Bella bronzer with glow illuminator. So I have all my creams and my lip conditioner kind of on this top layer. So that's like the essential hack items, right? From there, I like variety, okay? These are all of the lip and cheeks that I carry. So when Saint had a big um, special on the half size tins of lip and cheek colors, I went crazy for it because now I can fit even more lip and cheeks in my compact, have a more variety, and they're in this half size tin. 
So these are my lip and cheeks, and then I also have a couple more illuminators that I love to play, pair in here. So this is my second layer, kind of my options, my fun, my fun zone, right? Then in the third layer is where I keep all my powders, okay? So any of our eyeshadows that are powders, I also keep my cleansing tile. I have to have this sucker when I am doing my eyeshadow looks because I can clean off my brush really easily. And then also our vanilla dust setting powder. So I like to keep all the powders in one because sometimes you get that little bit of residue from powder. So I like to keep it here so it's not mixing with my creams. So this is how I organize. So that way, anytime I'm going on a trip, I just take this big thing with me and my brushes and I'm set. I have all my eyeshadows. I have a ton of variety of lip and cheeks and illuminators. And then I have my essential items along with some color correctors too. So this is how I like to travel, the 27. And I tell you what, most women who fall in love with Saint end up here too. They may have that 12 size or maybe even two 12 size compacts. There are a lot of women who will take their size 12, one for the essential hack and then the other one for all their eyeshadows. And you could definitely do that too. I just like having everything in one. So I have upgraded through having um, rewards. So if you wanna host a class, you could get one of these with your half off items and then you are set and you can carry everything in one. There is one other update that just happened with our website and it's called the Demi Collection. And I will talk more about that in different posts, but I just wanted to showcase some of the Demi um, compacts because they're really, really fun. So if you are looking for something a little different, you can head to the Demi selection or the Demi tab on the website. So they have different palettes as well. They have one that is a um, size six, so it's kind of similar to our four. They have a size 12, 18, 20, and 49. However, when you look at Demi, when you're looking at the Demi um, palettes or compacts, their numbers are for half size tins, okay? So for our Saint 3D world, ours, the 27 measures full size tin. With Demi, all the Demi collection is in a half size amount. So when I say a compact 20, which this one is right here, isn't it beautiful? I can give you a little reference compared to the 27. So it's a little bit more square in shape, right? So this is the Demi compact size 20. So it actually fits about 10 full size tins. The nice thing about this is now you have a lot bigger of a mirror, so it's a lot fuller. And then you can fit 10 tins, 10 full size tins or 20 eyeshadows on this one layer, okay? So this is a really beautiful one. This is called Mood. I just think it's just absolutely stunning. I love our marketing. Um, so this is the Mood. And then this is another fun one that I just picked up too. So this is also Demi. This is a size 49. So it would actually hold about 24 large size tins or 49 eyeshadows, okay? But the fun thing about this, let me show you in comparison. So this is our 3D foundation. So it's twice the size, but it's one big square. So it's really fun because look at the mirror on this one. The mirror is huge, okay? And that's why when you're doing Demi, it's all about specific color correction. So you need a lot bigger of a mirror. So this palette right here, it'll hold about 24 large tins, but then you have that ginormous mirror. Um, and then you can mix and match and play around with how you want to put, put your tins. So I've been playing with um, some of my illuminators in here so you can see how it fits. You can get about 24 of those large sets. So those are just two other options that we have on our website now. It's under the Demi collection. Um, so if you need help, let me know, but I am just in love with these um, mood compacts. Um, something that we don't have in the 3D world. So I love getting my hands on these. Otherwise, for my 3D collection, I am a 27 girl, but I would suggest when you are starting out, use your compact credits, go up to the size 12, so that way it gives you a little bit 
room to grow um, over time. So that's it for compacts. A lot of information. <laughs> so if you have questions, if you are starting out and you need help as far as figuring out, okay, what am I going to order? What size compact should I get? So I make sure everything fits in there. Reach out to me. I'd love to help. But hopefully this gives you a great idea and some really good visuals as far as what sizes are which. And then also a good indication of what some of these colors are, um, not just on a website. So any questions, ladies, please reach out to me. I hope this is helpful um, as you determine what compact size is right for you. Have a great day.